Hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel in this particular video i will explain the problem reverse a link list in group of given size so the problem is pretty interesting and frequently asked by companies like amazon microsoft flipkart etc so without any further delay let me start with the problem statement it says that hey you are given a link list of size n the task is to reverse every k nodes uh, in the link list where k is the input to the function and if the number of nodes is not a multiple of k then the left out nodes in the end should be considered as a group and must be reversed right now one example is given here let me explain the problem with the given example so i have a list 1 2 2 4 5 6 7 8 and the value of k is equal to 4 right so first of all let me uh, divide the list into group of size k so i have two groups of size 4 right this is one this is two and the task is to reverse uh, every like group of size k in the list right so if i reverse the first group then i will have 4 2 uh, 2 and then 1 and along with this if i reverse the second group then i will have 8 7 6 and then 5 so this particular list is the output for the given example right now let me take one more example so let's say i have a list 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 right so for this list the value of k is equal to a uh, 3 let's say now we have to reverse this list in the group of size 3 so i have first group of size 3 then i have the second group right but see the size of this group is not 3 uh so is this a valid group now according to the problem if the number of nodes is not a multiple of k then there will definitely be some left out nodes right you can see here i, I am left with two nodes here and these nodes should be considered as a group and must be reversed so this particular uh, like set of nodes is again a valid group so i have two groups now right and i have to reverse both groups so first of all i'll reverse the first group then i will have 3 to 1 after this i'll have 5 and 4 right so this particular list is the uh, like solution for the given example for this example right now i hope you have understood the problem statement so let me talk about the solution now Okay so I have written one example here I have a list 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and for this the value of k is equal to 4 right the approach is pretty simple and straightforward all you need to do is you need to traverse each group of size k right and after this you have to uh, reverse this particular group and once you have done this then your task is done right see what approach we are going to follow first of all we are going to have answer right and we are going to iterate over the first group once we have got the first group then we have to reverse it and append it to the answer so when i reverse this group then i will have 4 3 then 2 then 1 right this is for the first group then i will have the second group and when i reverse this group so i will have 8 then 7 then 6 and 5 right after this i'll come to this group which is the third group so i'll simply reverse it then i will have 9 So this is the answer right this is how we are going to find the answer now the question is how to iterate over each group and append to the answer right so let's talk about the approach now okay so i have written one example here and i will show the dry run on the left hand side and along with this i'll write the code in uh, parallel as well right so let me start see in the function let's say we have head and k as the pointer right so we need to iterate over each element so that i can get the starting point of the group k let me explain how so first of all i will point to uh, this node right and starting with this node i will traverse out first four nodes right because the value of k is 4 so i'll traverse first k nodes and then i'll stop here after this i'll reverse this list and append to the answer then i'll start with this particular node so see i have to get the starting point of each group so let's say i have a pointer which is n n which is initially equal to head right so i have a node pointer which is going to point to every point of the starting node right now what i'll do is i will have a answer as well because when i reverse the group so i have to append this group to the answer so i will have my answer which is initially equal to minus 1 right after this let's say i have my i have reversed my first group so i'll append it to the answer so i will have 4 uh, then 3 then 2 then 1 right now what i'll do is what i'll do is i'll simply append a uh, second group after reversing right my question is how to get the last pointer because only if you have a last pointer then we can append uh, the second group to the answer right because we have to start from this particular node we will say that okay this pointer dot next is equal to this particular list right i hope that makes sense to you so we need a answer pointer as well we need answer pointer as well so i'll say that okay my answer pointer answer pointer is initially equal to answer right why i need answer pointer this is the question because i want to point the last node of my answer uh, each time right 
initially my answer is equal to minus one because we have to initialize the list with some value right uh, okay after this what i'll do is i'll have a start point and i will have an end point so let's say this is start and at the same position i have the end as well right and my end point is going to move k times right because i need to point the last value of uh, like size k so what i'll do is uh, i'll say that okay see first of all uh, i'll say my start is equal to start is equal to nn after this my end is equal to nn right and inside this uh, i will move my end till my uh, k becomes zero right because i have to get the last uh, node out of these k nodes right so i'll say that while my counter is not equal to zero right i'll do counter minus minus inside this so even i can write something like while my counter minus minus is greater than zero right inside this i have to say end equal to and dot next but hold on what is this counter so counter is initially equal to k right now the moment i write this particular code i will have my end pointer pointing to the last node right so i have got my group this is my start this is my end and see i have to disconnect this particular list from uh, the rest of the list so i'll say that okay this 4 dot next equal to null now so this way i'll be able to get 1 2 3 4 and then null right so this is the list that i have now and i have to reverse this list then i have to append it to the answer quite simple right so first of all let's do end dot next uh, equal to null right after this uh, okay let me write the code here now so i'll say that answer pointer answer pointer answer pointer is basically pointing to this initially right so answer pointer dot next dot next equal to reverse list reverse list uh, which is my current list right so this is the starting point of current list i have to pass this starting point so this is my start right uh, i have initialized my start here so i'll append to the answer which is my reverse of current list right this way i'll be able to get a uh, four three two one at the end of this list right once i have done this i have to move my answer pointer as well so let's say i have four here then three here then two here then one here my question is i have to point my answer pointer to this value isn't it because my answer pointer should point to the last value of the answer so i'll say that okay my answer pointer is now equal to what my answer pointer is not now equal to uh start because start is pointing to one right and i have to point to one here so i hope you have understood this as well so this is how we are going to move our answer pointer right so this is the approach that we need to follow this is for the first group and we have to traverse each group so i'll say that okay while my uh, null uh, nn is not equal to null so i have to do this particular task in loop right and one more thing is we have not handled some cases here the first case is let's say i'm at this point right this is the starting point and we have to traverse four nodes but we don't have four nodes we have only one node right so my end pointer can be null as well and this is going to give me null pointer exception so what i'll do is i'll correct this particular thing i'll say that okay my counter minus minus is greater than zero and my uh, end pointer is not equal to null right this is how we can avoid null pointer exception now there are two possibility for this loop when this loop breaks so either this condition is false my counter uh, has become zero right or this condition is uh, true my uh, end is equal to null so for this my end will not be equal to null so if my end is not equal to null if uh, end is not equal to null only in that case we can say that end dot next is next equal to null right because if my end is equal to null then we can't have end dot next so else if my end is equal to null then surely we are uh, done with the whole list right we are done with the whole list so at that moment we all need to do uh, nn equal to null because this will cause the loop to stop right this particular loop will stop because we are done with all the groups now one more thing is there if my end is not equal to null then see we have to point to the next starting point as well right let's say i'm at this four then i have to uh, move to this five so i'll say that my nn is now equal to n dot next right i hope you understand this because only after this we can uh, get my n dot next equal to null so this is the approach that we need to follow right now let me show you the code but before this okay uh before i show you the code we have to talk about this particular important concept as well how we are going to reverse the list right so let's talk about this see reversing a list is quite uh, interesting concept and used a lot in multiple uh, kind of problems so let me start how we can do this i'm going to talk in brief and very precise manner so i'll start with this position see 
each time I want my pointer to uh, like point to the previous value right so I'll start with this I want it to point to previous value so null is initially previous value so let's say previous is initially equal to null right so after this my previous will point to this and my head will point to this my head is basically the pointer right so let's say head is here so head dot next will be equal to previous right each time so I'll do head dot next equal to previous what it will do is if I do same thing for every possible head then head will point to previous each time right but see when we move our head then we have to do previous equal to head as well right previous should also move so I'll say that okay now my previous is equal to head value because we need to head right and what is the value of head now head should be equal to head dot next right head dot next but hold on we have already modified the head dot next so if I say that head equal to head dot next then it will move to the previous value so we can't do something like this instead we can uh, do head equal to next and we have to get this next as well so I'll say that okay next is initially equal to head dot next right so I have to store head dot next here only after this we can modify the head dot next and what is next next is again a pointer which is initially equal to null right so we have to do this thing in loop right because we want to do this particular thing with every value so while my head is not equal to null right we have to do this at last see my head will point to head is here then it will point to previous value then head is here it will want to previous value then head is here point to previous value head will here point to previous value then head is here and previous is here right so previous is something which is pointing to the reverse of linked list you can see here that 5 is here uh, this is the starting of linked list then after this 4 then 3 then 2 then 1 we have reversed every pointer so at last we just need to return previous this is how we can uh, like solve the problem right this is how we can uh, get the reverse of list after this all we need to do is this particular thing now let me show you the code okay so this is the code that we have right this is the iterative approach basically because we are iterating over each element this particular function is for uh, like reversing the list right and after this this is the main approach that we need to follow this is the main approach see we have a loop which is going to iterate over every possible group right and how we iterate over a group so we have a start and end pointer and we are going to get this particular group by uh, moving uh, some k uh, values ahead right in a linked list after this there are two possibilities we have to handle these two cases then all we need to do is append the reverse of list to the answer each time right and at last we will have our answer why answer dot next why answer dot next because see uh, we are initializing our answer with minus one only after this we are uh, adding every value so we have while returning we have to skip this minus one so that's why i'm writing uh, like answer dot next here same code is written in java right the only difference is of syntax again uh, the same code is in python as well so this is all about this video i hope you guys will like the explanation talking about the time and space complexity so the time complexity uh, for this particular approach is o of n right uh, okay let me write the time complexity so o of n is the time complexity and space complexity is o of one right now there is something interesting about this problem we can solve this problem using the recursive approach as well if you guys are interested in the recursive approach then please let me know in the comment section if i get enough comments then i'll definitely uh, make a video on the recursive approach as well right but this approach is something which is very easy very straightforward uh, so that uh, even a beginner can understand this particular approach that's why i have written this particular approach right thank you